Hey guys, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we have Hedvig Art Book. As usual, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. I'm not sure the correct way to actually pronounce the name, but there's a quick look at the front and back for you. So this is an Omaniki Audiciones book. Again, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. You can see due to the, um, the format of this book being horizontal, it is gonna be very difficult for me to fit on camera. But I'm going to give it a go. We might just have to clip out these edge bits a little bit. So I apologize for that. So I'm not going to go through this one too quickly because I think page count wise, it's only about, I'm not sure, in the 60s, maybe 64 pages, something along those lines. Um, but what I can say straight away is this book is absolutely awesome. So as long as you like stylized art, what I would consider slightly cartoony, to me it stands out as a little bit Disney-esque, then I think you will absolutely love this book. Whilst there is a prominent sort of cartoony style, I would say there are a few different ranges of styles within the book. Yeah, they're all a little bit cartoony, exaggerated, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, but you can tell that this artist has a lot of skill and could probably draw pretty much anything. They definitely have a fondness for animals. There's a lot of sort of cutesy, chibi designs. Um, and the book ranges from sketches, clean line art, all the way to like this sort of finished rendered paintings. I use the word sketches quite loosely because to me, they are beyond a sketch. They are so neat and pristine. So for example, I mean, it's more like this. It is a sketch or it has a sort of pencil sketch look to it, but it still looks very refined. Definitely doesn't look messy like my sketches. Let's put it like that. The artist definitely has quite a fondness and a good understanding of horses because there are horses throughout this book and unicorns and yeah, similar kind of things. But yeah, it really to me just stands out as something that I can imagine in like a Disney film, which I never really used to appreciate the artwork of. Um, but I've been buying a lot more artist books recently for this kind of style. And yeah, the cartoony style is really growing on me. I just think it looks more fun. Um, and I just think, yeah, I think it works really well. So as well as having animals, the artist does have some portraits and characters throughout, which you will see shortly, which again are absolutely awesome. And this artist, which I know I probably pronounced the, the name wrong at the beginning, but this artist goes by a different name on social media. So you might find that you actually already recognize this artist. It's quite a big name. I believe it's something like Vixie Arts. I should definitely have double checked that before I started to record. Um, but I will put links in the description box below so you can find their social media pages. And one thing I would say about this book is quite unusual. I'm not sure how well it shows on camera. Some of these pages are like a different texture, different, I don't know if it's a different material or what. There's some that are a little bit matte at the front and back. Then most of it is glossy, which you can probably tell. But then like this one here, there's something about it that I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's got a different feel to it. It's really strange actually. But it's really nice, but I'm not really sure how to describe it. So one of my biggest issues with this book is actually that it's not bigger in terms of the page count, because I think the work is absolutely phenomenal. I think there's such a range of skills, not just in rendering, but also draftsman, drawing, uh, character design. I'm not sure whether these characters are sort of from anything. I wouldn't be surprised if they were or if they were designed for them. But even if these are just the artist's own work, original characters, they are absolutely fantastic. So we've got some portrait work here. Again, some fully rendered, sort of painted, absolutely beautiful style. Practicing a range of emotions. I always like seeing that in people's sketchbooks. And then some, again, maybe not, maybe not um, sketches, but line art. So I wanted to stop on this one because I thought this design was just so damn cool. It looks like something that you would see from like a World of Warcraft game. Um, I'm really into fantasy stuff, so I think that's pretty cool. I don't know what it's actually from. And then we've got some flat colors here on the right. And I know I said I was gonna skim through this one quite quickly because there wasn't too many pages, but I seem to have rambled on so much that the video is getting long. So I will start to speed up a little bit. And I will put links to where I got this from in the description box below. I'm in the UK and I think it's about 20, 25 pounds here at the moment to buy this new. I think that overall the book is laid out really nicely. I like that some pages do have an awful lot on there, a lot of different designs like this one, but this one also stood out to me as being, it, it looks nice, but there's not a huge amount on the page when you compare it to something like this. 
So for me, this is my, my preference and this is just a shame there's not more on it. But again, I understand that from a book perspective, it sort of is a nicer layout, I suppose. And some of these actually remind me a little bit of, again, I know it's going back to the sort of Disney thing, but a little bit of Aaron Blaze's work and he does a lot of animal drawings. And I always think that these sort of grey and tanned ones with a white outline always look really nice. Um, so if you're not familiar with Aaron Blaze's work and you like this kind of book, uh, it might be worth checking out his YouTube channel as well. He's got tons of awesome tutorials. But yeah, this artist definitely worth following. There we have her there. Definitely shows a full range of skills in this book. To me, I was absolutely mind blown by this book. It was a bit of a gamble, but I'm really pleased that I got this one. And if anything, I just wish it was longer or that the artist hopefully releases more books like this. But I'll put links to everything in the description box below anyway. So I hope you guys found this video useful, especially if you were looking at buying this book. I would definitely recommend it. If you did find it useful, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more content. That really helps me out a lot, guys. Aside from that, you can switch notifications on for future content and leave me a comment below. Let me know what other books you guys want to see next. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.